Hey YouTube, Knight16 here, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own mini cleaver. Alright, so what I've done so far is went ahead and cut boy, this out of here with a side grinder. Uh, I needed a piece that I could draw on. So then, I don't know if you can see it or not, Mr. Carolina Cowboy's the artist behind this, so shout out to him, and I'll put his channel above here. All right, so next, all we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take the side grinder, since now I know what needs to be took off, and take off a good bit more, and then we'll get down to the bench grinder. Yeah, that's as good as it's going to get from the angle grinder. So now we're just going to go to the bench grinder. We'll be back. All right, so uh, I've already got the angle grinder put away. And here we go on the uh, bench grinder while I'm getting my glove on. Let me just say that uh, while we're doing this, I have a bucket of water over there. And uh, periodically I will dunk this on here. And also, uh, from this angle, you probably can see a whole lot better, hopefully. Uh, that bubbling you see on there, uh, when after Mr. Carolina Cowboy drew this, I sprayed on some Rust-Oleum clear coat just so I wouldn't wash it off. So that's what's bubbling. So this is where it's going to get tricky, right here, I think you can tell, right there, um, it's going to be pretty hard to uh, get to. I might even, to be honest, guys, I might even uh, get a hacksaw out and, and try to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and work around here and, uh, until I figure out what to do there. Okay, so this is as far as I've got so far, and uh, it's starting to look like a cleaver. All I've got to really do is clean up this handle and uh, get rid of this section right here. That's that. All right, so now uh, that I've hacksawed my way through here, I'm gonna go ahead and use a file. to finish this up. Alright, so I've got my flat file here. And I'm just going to go ahead and start working on this flat handle because I can't get in there with the grinder. Alright, so a quick commercial. This file that I was using down here has a file handle on it. 
which is very nice. Uh, if you've ever used a file, you know that you need a handle on a file. You can get a lot more force going behind it, so it really is important. Uh, this file does not have a handle, but you can tell that I have put a paracord handle on it. Um, this is a very comfortable handle, very easy to do. It takes, I don't know, probably 10, 10 minutes, maybe less than that to make. It's a really good idea. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the video up above, so if you have a file without a handle, then this is a very good option for you. Alright, <clears throat> so that looks pretty good right there. I like that. Um, that's pretty much the profile I'm going with. You could, I could do a little bit more, um, clear up the, the edges, soften them up. I love a file, so I'll just do that. And uh, then it'll be time to put an edge on it. Alright, so this particular grinder has a... Uh, a wire brush on here and so I'm just going to use that to uh, clean this up a little bit. on this side but uh, I like that I thought about maybe painting it but if it'll I think I'm just gonna leave it nice brush finish I really like that it looks nice okay so now we got to go to the edge sort of a problem because that takes away our nice matte finish but I don't know maybe I can fix that and uh, we actually have an edge now so uh, in case you can't tell I'm not an expert but I'm pretty happy with it still. Right, so what I've got here is I've clamped the table on a little piece of wood so I don't drill into my table and uh, I've marked uh, where I want the hole because every cleaver needs a hole up here so now I'll go ahead and uh, punch right in the middle of it to uh, have a starting plug. Alrighty, we have a hole. Let's see how it looks. Oh yes, perfect, perfect. All right, so now we're pretty much done. I'm really happy with it. Uh, I'm going to finish uh, it up with this brush. And uh, then this is actually sharp enough to use, but I'm going to go ahead and take a file and clean it up and clean up the edge and make, just make it look nice, polish the edge. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed that video. I really enjoyed this project. This is a very cool little knife. Um, I'm going to have mine sharpened a little bit more. Uh, I did profile it with a, a file, and uh, it's actually pretty sharp now. I'm also going to make a leather sheath for it for my belt so I can carry this around if I want to, just because it's cool, and uh, I will be showing you how I do that when I get around to it. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Not out.